Good morning. I call the meeting to order of the drainage district, board of directors. We're going to start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, precinct one. Everardo Villarreal, precinct three. Ali Torres, precinct four. Richard Cortez, county judge, that constitutes a quorum. Mr. Sitsin, can you please lead us in prayer? Yes, good morning, Judge, Commissioners, everyone. Let us pray. Father God, we seek your clarity and your peace over all that's occurring in our country today. When you are with us and for us as we gather to seek your counsel, we continue to pray for the judge and four commissioners you've appointed to lead this great county of ours. We pray for our mayor, school board members, city council, police chief, district attorney, sheriff, judges, and all who serve our local communities. Strengthen them with your wisdom and grace for the heavy burdens they carry. May they manage their teams and projects with love. Their hearts pure and their eyes turn to your face as they work in the best interests of people they're called to serve. We continue to pray for the first responders and their families. We lift them up to you. We ask for your grace, love, and wisdom be granted to the doctors and nurses dealing with the ill. We ask for your hand of peace and comfort over them and their families. We lift up to you all those that are battling illnesses. We ask for your healing hand over them. Provide their families with the peace that you can only bring through your son, Jesus. We praise you for the healing that has come through you. We pray for all those that have been affected by Hurricane Ida and all the other inclement weather that has affected our country. May your hand of peace be over them and your wisdom over the leaders that are tasked to address the issues caused by the events. We pray for strength over all that have lost someone. Father God, may your strength carry them through all and your grace, love, and mercy be over them. Father God, you refresh us with your presence and you sustain us with your life-given word. Show us how to lift the burden of others, especially those who lack the basic necessities of life, and to refresh them with humble care and service. Scripture reminds us that the more we seek you, the more we will find you. May we seek you in everything we do, and may we work as if we're working for you. Lord, lead our surrender hearts to the path of your peace today. In Jesus' name we ask all this. Amen. Do we have anybody to sign up for open forum? Yes, sir, Judge, we do. We have two individuals under drainage district signed up. Our first presenter is Francisca Quintanilla. Ms. Quintanilla. Ms. Quintanilla, there is a three minute time limit I will advise when there was one minute left. Buenos días, señores comisionados, señor uh, Cortés, buenos días. Mi nombre es Francisca Quintanilla y vengo de la Unión del Pueblo. Soy organizadora en el mi precinto 3, eh, donde estamos nosotros trabajando. Este, estamos aquí para hacer, tanto hacer peticiones como para dar gracias también por la forma en que nos han estado ayudando, pero también necesitamos que sigamos trabajando de la misma manera junto con varias colonias que necesitan, este, necesitamos mucha ayuda en cuestión de drenajes. En tiempos de inundación, las familias carecen muchas, carecemos muchas cosas, porque se inunda, no tenemos salida en nuestras, para nuestras casas, tenemos que usar a veces algo inflable para poder salir hacia la calle para nuestros trabajos. Nuestros muebles se dañan muy seguido. Estamos pasando por muchas eh, situaciones difíciles, entonces este, uh, nuestra petición es que nos, que nos ayuden a, a seguir trabajando junto con ustedes para seguir ayudando a tantas familias que necesitan de este problema. Es una gran necesidad que tenemos en nuestras colonias, en nuestro precinto 3. Gracias. Thank you. Uh, good morning, my name is Francisca Quintanilla. I am the organizer on, pre on my precinct number three. Uh, he, we are here with, uh, thank we want to thank you and we are here to ask you to help us because, because our families in our colonias, we need a lot of help. In time uh, where flooding comes, our colonias um, are flooded and sometimes we need um, inflatable things to get out of our houses and be able to go to work. Uh, our cars get damaged. Uh, the families are affected by, by all these uh, different situations. Uh, our petition is that you, that we keep working and so that our families um, don't have, uh, can help uh, solve the needs of our families. 
Next one, please. Thank you. Our next presenter for open forum under drainage district is Ms. Rosalinda Martinez. Buenos días, señores comisionados y juez. Este, mi nombre es Rosalinda Martínez y venimos a exponer nuestra necesidad. Nuestro problema es el drenaje. Por muchos años hemos carecido de este problema y para mí, para mi colonia, por favor, les invito a que nos miren y cumplan con nuestros ¿qué? Y, con, y que nos den soluciones. Uh, este es mi colonia. Good morning, Commissioner, judges. My name is Rosalinda Martinez. I am here to uh, let you know my, our needs. Um, our drainage in our colonias, uh, we have a lot of problems, and uh, I invite you uh, so that you can help us and give us some solutions. Uh, this is my colonia. Anyone Judge, else? We have, we have no more presenters for drainage district. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, sir, Judge. Uh, Commissioner, just standard um, uh, uh, um, items, approval of permits, and other items that have been vetted by my team. Everything's in order. We recommend approval. So, second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> Item 5A. Yes, sir. Thank you. 5A, requesting approval of a memorandum of agreement between the Department of Army and Dow County Drainage Number 1 for the provision of technical assistance relating to the Rainbow Drain Project. Subject to final labor review. Uh, this is just an agreement with the Army Corps of Engineers to help us with our feasibility study and, and the environmental to get to a level where we can get the ASA to, to get favorable approval. And uh, this is to evaluate that cost first. Uh, for now, we recommend approval. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5G, request to approve to pay um, Texas Water Mill reimbursement fund $186,380.04 to the unimpreasing four for the structure seven and one during pay periods five, seven, eight, and 14. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, accept and approve work session number one, the amount of $39,284.25, estimated by Million Engineers Group Inc. through contract number at CACD 1 2105 provide construction material testing services, SF Chavez and Texas Road, Canton Road, and Tower Road, Iowa Road Drainage Area Improvement, subject to legal review. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Adam D. Request and approval to accept bid and approve to execute requirement. Requirements, agreements, the lowest and most responsible bidder meeting specifications and requirements for RFP number ACDD 12104208 ESZ, fuel, gasoline, and diesel on and off highway subject to legal review. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 6A, request and approval of closing documents, parcel 15B4 as it relates to project 15B of the 2018 drainage fund program, JOA drain project, authority for the chairman of the board to execute documents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 6B accepts and approved work session number two in the amount of 7,960 submitted by Millennium Engineering Group Inc. through contract number ACC 1-21021525 to provide construction material testing, JO8 and Call Road cross, Covert Crossing 2018 bond Project 15. Motion Subject to legal review. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 6C, approval of application payment number eight in the amount of $368,000 from Lazarus Engineering, pertaining to construction contract ACD 120040098. Project Engineer Javier Hinojosa. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And two, approval of application payment number seven in the amount of $172,955.30 for Project Morewell LLC, pertaining to construction contract ACD 1. 
project engineer have an associate and they know to recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three, approval application of peg number three in the amount of 41,895 Memorial LSC pertaining to session contract ACD 120 Project Engineer Habit Associates. Everything's in order, recommend approval. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item four, approval of, of payment, excuse me, approval of application for payment number three in the amount of 13,519.12 cents from Vencer Contractors LLC pertaining to special contract ACD 120 04409. 15. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 5, approval of cash payment number 6 in the amount of 196,333.94 cents from Project Council Enterprise Virginia Construction Contract. ACD 120.0090707. Project Engineer Ellen G. Everything's in order. Recommend approval. Motion so approved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D1, request and approval supplement agreement number three, professional service contract, CACDD 1-19-0380521, KCI Technology Inc. for the Facebook Drink 18 Bonnet Project 11A to reflect the revised exhibit work schedule and extended termination date of September 30, 2022, exhibit F, contract rates and including survey rates, subject to review and compliance with House Bill 1295. Point to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, item two, request and approval supplement agreement number two to work session number one of the professional service service contract. <clears throat> ACD 1-19-0380521, KCI Technologies Inc. for the project Facebook Drain 2018 Bionic Project 11A, reflect the revised period of September uh, to end on September 30th, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion, second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item me requesting a third advertise and approval of a competitive seal proposal packet requirements specification plans developed project engineer firm KCI Technology Facebook Dream Improvement 2018 bond referendum project number 11A CSP number ACD 1210470921 RFB including the advertisement of the project and the event or response are received and are rejected and the project is still required. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, item F, requesting authority, advertise and approval of a competitive seal proposal packet requirement specification plan developed by Project Engineer Firm Testing Infrastructure at Phaseville Drain Improvements 2018 Bond Referendum Project Number 11 BCSP Number ACD 12104809 RFP, including the advertisement of the project and the event or response to receive and are rejected. The project is still required. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Do we need to go to closed session, or will? Yeah, we do have one small item, Judge. Okay. Pursuant to September D of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we need to go to closed session to discuss items listed on items 551.072, 551.074. May I have a motion to do so? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. It is 958. Okay, we're back from executive session. It's two minutes after 10. I don't believe we have any action items to take. Uh, Valde, I think that concludes our agenda items. Yes, sir. Okay, motion to adjourn. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I now call to order the Hidal County Commissioner's Court meeting. And we'll start with a roll call to establish quorum. David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie Cantu, Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. As is customary, today we have representative and Sergeant Ismael Kino Flores will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Representative Flores served in the U.S. Army from 1977 through 1980. He was a team leader in the development of the now famous Patriot Missile. He also served in the House of Representatives for District 36 from 1995 to 2011. He's married to Deborah Flores for 43 years with two sons. One is a Hidalgo County Master Court Judge, number two, and the other one, Eric Daniels, the attorney for Palmview. Mr. Representative, would you please lead us in the pledge? Thank you, Judge, Mem members of the court. Before I get started, if, with your permission, I'd like to, to bring up uh, several veterans who are here for a resolution that is on the agenda down the way. 
uh, Luis Ortiz, United States Air Force, Joel Sainz, United States Army, Felix Rodriguez, Carmen Gaitan, United States Marine Corps, Frank Cital, United States Army, Juan Magallan, United States Air Force, Robert Villalobos, United States Army, Raul Hernandez, United States Army, and Johnny Sainz, United States Army. If you guys will please come forward. You'll repeat after me. Uh, okay, go ahead. Permission to present colors. Present the colors. Color guard, on chat, shut. For the colors, update, shut. For R. Right shoulder, R. Forward, heart. Present, heart. Mark, time, mark. Color guard, hold, left, face. Four, arms. Present, arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Or, or, right shoulder, or, right face, forward, march, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's proud to be an American when I see you all here to, today. Thank you very much. Judge, member of the court, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next, we have our prayer will be led today by the Honorable Judge Marla Cuella. She is our district judge for the 275th District Court. Judge? Thank you. Thank you, Judge and Commissioners, for the opportunity to be here with you this morning. It is truly a blessing. If we may lower our heads. Lord, we thank you for the blessing of another day of life, for the opportunity to come together, committed to the pledge of service and love for our community. As we continue in a time of change, adversities, and loss, we pray for strength and continued faith with hopeful and humble hearts. We pray a blessing on Commissioners Fuentes, Cantu, Villarreal, Torres, and Judge Cortez and their families. Our county has been gifted with their foresight, dedication, and commitment to lead and to protect our family, friends, neighbors, and our great county. We place our trust in their leadership. We continue to pray for all healthcare workers, first responders, relentless in ensuring health and life to everyone who has unselfishly given of themselves to ensure others do not go without, and especially a prayer for the families who have endured a loss of a loved one. May they find peace and solace in their hearts. I ask for unity and prayer during this month of September for all our children diagnosed with cancer. We ask, Lord, that you bring them healing, relieve their pain, and shower them with grace. We pray for those who are battling, the survivors, and the many precious lives lost. We keep them and their families in our prayers. Father, shine your light on this meeting, all the participants, and bless our great county of Hidalgo. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Judge, for that beautiful prayer. Thank you so much. Next item is the approval of the consent agenda. Yes, Judge. Judge, uh, I would like to pull from consent agenda item <laughs> 9A1 
and two. Move what? to approve without those items. Second. second. So I have a motion and a second to approve it without items 9A, 1, and 2. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, for the record, consent agenda item 9A, 1, and 2. Uh, Commissioner Fuentes will be abstaining from any discussion and or action. Motion I could have approved. a motion uh, to approve consent agenda item 9A, 1, and 2. We have a motion and a second to approve item A, 1, and 2. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Let the record reflect that Commissioner Fuentes abstained from, from voting or discussion of this matter. Thank you. Next item is open forum. Yes, sir, Judge Commissioners, we do have uh, five individuals to speak. Our first uh, open forum speaker is Ms. Olivia Gomez. I'm not Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, we have three speakers uh, in the first, second, and third speaker. We wanted a... Uh, Kind of jump the gun. We're going to have a proclamation in two weeks uh, on the deaf and hard of hearing, but we have our good friend Rodrigo, who's going to be leaving in Washington, D.C., and we really wanted him to participate because he's kind of the one that's leading this charge. So I have a couple things to, to say. I'm going to read the proclamation. Obviously, we're not going to approve it, but just so that we can know what we're talking about. Whereas the deaf population includes a wide range of individuals from those who are bo born profoundly deaf and use American Sign Language as a primary means of communication to, to those with a degree of hearing loss who use hearing aids or other forms of amplifi amplifications and communication modes. Whereas the purpose of the Deaf Awareness Month is, in, is to increase public awareness of the issues and the culture of people who are deaf. Whereas this is an opportunity to promote equal access to information and services for deaf individuals and to educate the public about the misconceptions of being deaf. And whereas it is also an opportunity to learn about the types of educational programs, support services, and resources available in Hidalgo County for the deaf and hard of hearing. Community like the ones that our local deaf and hard of hearing center, DHHC, provide. Whereas Hidalgo County Commissioner Precinct 2, uh, Commissioner Eduardo Ericantu has partnered with Self Advocate Jose Rodrigo Oresti to raise scholarship monies for individuals with disabilities in Hidalgo County so that tuition is not a barrier for those who wish to pursue higher education. So I pre prepared a couple of words. <clears throat> you know, it's not a coincidence today that we bring awareness to the members of our community who are deaf and hard of hearing since Sunday's gospel talked about Jesus helping the deaf hear and the mute speak. It was just eight weeks ago that I met this incredible young man, Jose Rodrigo Oresti. He's on a mission to bring much needed awareness, resources, and equality to the deaf and hard of hearing. We want to be part of his plan. We want to learn how we, as a county and as leaders, can be open, aware, and involved in bringing much needed change to everyone. We are on our way to be an inclusive county. We have a long way to go, but we will continue to be inclusive from the parks and facilities we build and maintain to the workforce we employ. We will put one foot in front of the other, but always moving forward inclusively. Uh, Rodrigo and my team have started a scholarship fund to support members of our community who want to get an associate's or a degree. In two weeks, we raised over 16,000 on social media. God gave us a footprint in the gospel. It's up to all of us to do God's work. I wanted to acknowledge uh, some of the people here from, from DHHC. We have uh, Marla Martinez. We also have uh, Marisa Pesina from Capable Kids. She's a board member. And then, of course, we have our number one advocate, Jose Rodrigo Uresti, who would like to say a few words. Hello, everybody, and good morning. Um, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to be here and uh, for the commissioners who invited us in Hidalgo County um, for this to be successful. Um, this month is Deaf Awareness Month. 
And um, my, like I said, my name is Jose Rodrigo um, Ruresti. And I, I have, I'm working at uh, university, I'm, I'm at the University of Texas, uh, Rio Grande Valley. And I'm a graduate of Memorial High School. It's a, has a, it houses a regional day school program um, at McAllen ISD. And there's another one in Brownsville. There's two regional day schools here in the Valley. And I volunteer for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Center with Marla, which has been an awesome experience for me. And I just recently um, was board um, in TSD Regional and with South Texas, and so I'm happy to be a representative for the deaf community here. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, this proclamation um, would spread awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing community and the issues that we face, especially uh, the, the cultural wise and the opportunity to learn just by, uh, for the community to learn the basic ASL, which is American Sign Language, which is a beautiful language. This month is um, Deaf Awareness Month, so I wish we can um, have more access within the community. Thank you. I just wanted to point out, uh, Rodrigo's too humble to, to tell us that uh, Congressman Vicente Gonzalez gave him an internship to work in DC, and so that's where he's going, that's why he's not gonna be available in two weeks, and so we can congratulate him. Hello, everybody. My name is Marla Martinez, and I work for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Center here in McAllen. And um, it's actually um, based out of Corpus Christi, but last year we decided to open up a center here in McAllen. And we just did, had our one year anniversary, and we're just really excited to continue to grow and to help the deaf community with different problems from uh, infants to senior citizens. There's so many different programs and that maybe you not, might not realize here in Hidalgo County, but we have over 250,000 people in the Hidalgo County who have a hearing loss. And there's different resources to help them. And also, I really, really want to applaud Rodrigo because, I mean, he has been a wonderful help, and, and Marisa also, and Lily, and, and Commissioner, and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Can we take a quick picture with this rock star? Of course.
Thank you very much. Next um, one, Wilder, please. Yes, our uh, next presenter is Ms. Fern McClarity. <clears throat> do I just start? Commissioners, I must admit that I do not understand why you keep spending more money than the people can earn in a year. The only concern you seem to have is to stay under the three cents annual increase that would trigger an automatic election. So you keep increasing the annual budget and therefore increasing the amount of debt. The commission does not seem to care about the poverty that exists in the community, nor the impact your support for property value increases. Your support for higher value is the single most important factor for increasing poverty in this county. Increasing values means higher taxes, more families unable to meet their financial obligations. When this commission added to closing schools, and thereafter encouraging the superintendents to extend the lockdown beyond 18 months, we discovered that our children not only were going to get an education, but they were also receiving food. Parents did not have significant money to uh, feed their families. So what were our county commissioners involved in doing while conditions of poverty were increasing? They were involved in giving tax abatements to wind energy companies. They contracted with state senators to create laws that would make it easier to take money from the people. The senator created laws that would um, allow local government to partner with developers to use public money to finance private for-profit pro projects. This was called economic development and it created jobs that never seemed to appear. All this debt has been created because the cost of borrowing money was so low. It did not matter if the people could not afford it. In fact, it was better. Now the local government could go to the federal government and plead for money to address the conditions of poverty that they, you, had created. As I said in the beginning, increasing the budget was just a way of increasing the amount of money you could spend. That is why each time the commission meets one of the first things it does is suspend, suspend the uh, employment policy. One this allows you to give raises, add more staff, and that is not good. Also today on the agenda, 12B, the health department <laughs> creating two more positions, 12C creating one position, undetermined amount of 107,365, 12D creating one position, which is only 64,000, 12E creating two positions. 12F, we're giving raises. Shoot, let's just give it away. 14A, uh, COVID vaccinations. We're going to be getting a grant for over $2 million. 17A, we're uh, just spending again one million fifty-five five two four And 23T, the annex building. And I'm wondering if this annex building on the third floor is this room, this building. The money we have put in here is unbelievable and they're moving around is scary. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And our last presenter is Ms. Nadia Stevens. Nadia Stevens. Good morning and thank you for letting us approach. I'm Greg Chittam with CM Company Auctions. We're based in Texas, we're born in Texas, and we would like to provide you with some information about some services that we can offer to you. The liquidation of your equipment in this day and time is a very tedious job. We're experts in marketing that equipment. We have a huge customer database all over the world. We sell equipment and we've had great success marketing used heavy equipment right now. The industry is very short on equipment, so if you have something that's out of use and just sitting there, instead of it getting cannibalized, let us turn that into revenue for you. Get some money back into your account. We take care of all the process, the logistics of coordinating the auction, setting it up, 
We collect the money for you. We arrange transportation. We do the whole thing for you. We catalog it. We have a number of auctions running in Texas right now, and we'd like to include you as one of our customers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, that concludes open forum. Thank you. Next item, we have some uh, proclamations or resolutions to present. The next one will be a resolution honoring G Eugene Jean Gutierrez. He's a, he's a young man of uh, soon to be 100 years old. Or have you already gotten there, Jean? Good morning. With your permission, let's start. Please. Resolution honoring Eugene Jean Gutierrez for 100 years. Whereas born on September 14, 1921, Eugene Gutierrez was a 1941 Harlingen High School graduate. And whereas Mr. Gutierrez answered his nation's call to duty right out of high school by enlisting in the United States Army in 1941, and the following year, he volunteered as a paratrooper in the first Special Service Force, the forerunner to today's Special Forces units, commonly known as the Devil's Brigade. This 1,800-member unit was composed of elite American and Canadian soldiers who specialized in hand-to-hand -hand combat and mountain warfare. And whereas, after returning to civilian life, he graduated with two degrees from Oklahoma State University, and in 1950, he settled in McAllen. There, he enjoyed a fulfilling career in education with the McAllen Independent School District as a principal, and later serving as superintendent. He retired as principal of Lincoln Middle School in 1980. And whereas Mr. Gutierrez continues to be an active member of this community through his efforts as a parishioner at Our Lady of Sorrows Church, and as a member of the Sierra Club, in all of his endeavors, this esteemed Texan is blessed with the love and support of his wife of 62 years, Penny, and he takes great pride in his three children and four grandchildren. And whereas, in addition to being honored for his military service with the Bronze Star Medal in 2008, Mr. Gutierrez was presented with the Congressional Gold Medal, one of the nation's highest civilian awards, and an award that was first presented to George Washington in 1776. Mr. Gutierrez was honored at a ceremony in Washington, D.C. on February 3rd, 2015. And whereas Mr. Gutierrez served his country bravely and loyally during a crucial moment in its history, contributing to the ultimate Allied victory in World War II, and he is truly deserving of this prestigious congressional commendation, and whereas today, Hidalgo County honors Mr. Eugene Gutierrez, an American hero, for his long history of commitment and unyielding dedication to our country and county. We thank you for str standing strong in your honored life of 100 years. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby wish Mr. Eugene Jean Gutierrez a joyful, 100 years young of life this September 14th and recognizes his bravery, compassion, and love for life with sincerest gratitude. Approved this seventh day of September 2021. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion to second approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Might I add? I must well, add the that uh, veterans come, come and join the, the young man over here. Word filtered out that uh, Mr. Gutierrez's wife was, was too ill to attend. And because of that, all these veterans gathered over the weekend to show support for their fellow veteran. Mr. Gutierrez, would you like to say that? I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. This is such a beautiful gathering. And you are great citizens of this nation of ours. You have set a very good example of what it means to be an American. Uh, for that, I salute you and I thank you. And uh, <clears throat> I, w I was uh, approached uh, 
our county judge uh, for just a very small ceremony here, but this is beautiful. And I'm very proud I will cherish this for the rest of my life. And uh, to be 100 years old is nothing. <laughs> 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 nothing if you overlook the ups and downs in life. And they told me, uh, I had a friend one time uh, when I was uh, maybe 90, 95, and, and then he says, Gene, do you know what it means to be 100 years old? I says, I haven't been there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing is that uh, when you reach 100 years, you can claim the title of having 100 years of wisdom. <laughs> and I guess I'm going through that. And I want to uh, thank all of my brother veterans that are here, uh, sisters veterans. I'm sure we have some ladies from the military. And uh, I, I passed a brochure, some of the ladies here, and gentlemen passed out a little history about my military unit. This was the beginning of the Special Forces. And uh, we accomplished a lot of uh, goals, a lot of uh, assignments that were difficult for the regular military people. And uh, the presentation of the uh, Congressional Gold Medal was uh, in 2015. And it was a bilateral uh, uh, ceremony. We had uh, Republicans and Democrats working together here. And I want to thank you. And I hope that uh, everything will be great for this county of ours. It's a great county. And you have set a good example. If you. I have a, uh, a short prayer here. Uh, this prayer was uh, World War II at Anzio on May 23, 1944 in Italy. And uh, this young man went through a lot. He was perhaps from the way the uh, letter or the prayer is, it was his first combat assignment. And uh, he wrote this letter during the, the uh, uh, shelling or the, uh, that the Germans were laying down on us. It was a terrible evening. And uh, he's, he said, look, God, I have never spoken to you, but now I want to say, how do you do? You see, God. They told me you didn't exist, and like a fool, I believe all this. Last night from a shell hole, I saw your sky and figured that they had told me a lie. Had I taken time to see things you made, I'd have known they weren't calling a spade a spade. I wonder, God, if you shake my hand. Somehow I feel like you understand. Funny, I had to come to see your face. Well, I guess there isn't much more to say, but I'm sure glad, God, I met you today. I guess the zero hour will soon be here, but I'm not afraid since I know you are near. There is a signal, I've got to go. I like you lots, I want you to know. Look now, this will be a horrible fight. Who knows if I come to your house tonight. Though I wasn't friendly to you before, I wonder, God, if you wait at the door. Look, I'm crying, me shedding tears. I wish I had known you this many years. Well, I have to go now, God. Goodbye, strange. Since I met you, I'm not afraid to die. This, the prayer was, uh, in the, in the uh, body of this uh, young soldier that uh, got killed at Anzio that evening.
I have so much to say, but I know time is very short. But I do want to impress on you that how grateful, how uh, glad I am that I'm here with all of you. I know that I'm in good company here because you people show your respect to the to the country and, and your dedication, your free time given to the progress of this great nation of ours. And to my brother veterans, thank you for serving our country. I thank you very much. Can we take a picture with the commission, sir? Come on up. We could have the veterans join, please, now.
So you can ask Jason? It's not. Thank you, sir. Could I ask members of the Mental Health Coalition to come forward, please? Well, next we have the approval of proclamation declaring September 5 through the 11th of 1921 as National Suicide Prevention Week. Thank you, Judge. Please come. Whereas September 5th through 11th, 2021 is known globally as Suicide Prevention Week, the National Suicide Prevention Week proclamation was created to raise the visibility of the mental health resources and suicide prevention services available in our community. The goal is to start the conversation about mental health and the impact of suicide to help connect people with the appropriate support services. And whereas, according to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. More than 47,000 people died by suicide across the United States in 2019, with an average of 130 suicides daily. Each suicide directly impacts a minimum of 100 additional people, including family, friends, coworkers, neighbors, and community members. And whereas suicidal thoughts, much like other mental health conditions, can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or background. In fact, suicide is often the result of an untreated mental health condition. Most of the people suffering from poor mental health do not reach out for help for fear of being judged or misunderstood. 
And whereas, while suicide prevention is important to address year-round, Suicide Prevention Awareness Month provides a dedicated time to come together with collective passion and strength around a difficult topic. Many of the people who died of suicide never received effective behavioral health services for many reasons, including the difficulty of accessing services available. And whereas all residents of Hidalgo County are urged to recognize suicide as a significant public health problem, support the development of accessible behavioral health services and acknowledge that no single suicide prevention effort will be sufficient for all populations or communities. And whereas the National Suicide Hotline is 1-800-273-TALK, everyone is encouraged to save this number and use it when you, a friend, or loved one is experiencing a crisis so that lives can be saved. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby designates September 5th through 11th, 2021 as Suicide Prevention Week and urges all residents gain and spread knowledge about this week and help raise awareness, share compassion, and come together as a community to educate and support each other. Approved this seventh day of September 2021. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Good morning, Judge Cortez, County Commissioners, and Mr. Guerra. My name is Chris Artis. Vivian Tamez and I are the co-chairs of the Hidalgo County Mental Health Coalition. On behalf of the coalition, we offer our sincere gratitude to all of you for this proclamation and, more importantly, for your commitment to the mental health of Hidalgo County residents. As most of you know, I lost my brother Tim and my former student Cody to suicide. Like you, I want to play an active role in preventing suicide and in strengthening mental health in our community. As you are well aware, COVID has added a deep and painful dimension to the mental health picture in Hidalgo County and far beyond. It is a critical time for us to come together to speak out about mental health and to provide information on how and where members of our community of all ages can find the help they need for themselves or for someone they love. Hi. Judge Cortez, thank you for following through on your initiative and in establishing the Mental Health Coalition. Your staff has been instrumental in creating the coalition website and brochure, which highlight mental health resources throughout our county. In producing those excellent mental health videos now playing on social media and in bringing together members, like you see here, of the mental health community to network and to collaborate thereby benefiting our families, our friends, and our Hidalgo County residents. Another important task of the coalition has been discovering gaps in the mental health services that are offered in Hidalgo County. Your commitment to addressing those cap gaps is invaluable. Both Chris and I know firsthand, sad to say, how mental health, I how mental health issues affect a person, a family, friends, co-workers, and an entire community. For many years, the stigma attached to living with mental illness caused far too many to remain silent, to hide behind their pain, and to die by suicide. The Hidalgo County Mental Health Coalition wants to urge our fellow residents to talk about hope. Knowing what to say and where to go for help is critical for this conversation to spread and to get louder and stronger. Once again, thank you, Judge Cortez, Commissioners, Mr. Guerra, and for this, for this proclamation and for talking about mental health and hope. Thank you. Bless you.
Okay, we have another proclamation for another very important endeavor, the National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Proclamation declaring September 2021 National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Whereas this month, Hidalgo County honors more than 420,000 survivors of childhood and adolescent cancers in the United States. And whereas, although the causes of childhood cancer are not completely understood, Adult cancers are often linked to lifestyles or environmental factors. Cancer in children is different in several ways because in a young person, cancer is less likely to be caused by the patient's environment or lifestyle. And whereas learning what genetic changes cause to cancer can help doctors diagnose it more effectively. Cancer is the leading cause of death by disease past infancy for U.S. children. About 175,000 children in the United States under the age of 14 will be diagnosed with cancer in 2021 worldwide. And whereas treatment of childhood cancer is coordinated by a team of experts who know the differences between adult and childhood cancers, as well as the unique needs of children with cancer and their families. This team usually includes pediatric oncologists, pediatric surgeons, radiation oncologists, pediatric oncology nurses, and nurse practitioners and physician assistants. And whereas the team can also include many professionals other than nurses and doctors. Children's cancer centers have psychologists, social workers, child life specialists, nutritionists, rehabilitation and physical therapists, and educators who can support and care for the entire family. And whereas sincerest gratitude is also expressed to those who work tirelessly to ensure that all children can live healthy, long, and productive lives. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby proclaim September as National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and recognizes the brave young children for their resilient spirit and immeasurable courage. Approved this seventh day of September 2021. Motion approved. Check. Second. I have a motion a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. So much.
Good morning, Judge Cortez and Hidalgo County Commissioners. My name is April Chapa. I don't know if you can see me over here <laughs> above the thing, but I'm from the DHR Advanced Care Center. And with me today, we have some of the staff. We have um, our practice administrator, our director is Elizabeth Ramirez. We have Mario Lescano from DHR. We have our patient navigator, Pamela Bruce, and our social worker, Lisa Gomez. But we also have uh, Maritza Esqueda, who is with the Greater Gold Foundation. So we work together with other nonprofits um, to bring this proclamation to you. Um, today we are here for Childhood Cancer Awareness for the month of September. The gold ribbon and color is to be worn for awareness and September is a time to recognize the children and families affected by childhood cancers and to emphasize the importance of supporting research on these devastating conditions. The color gold also symbolizes how precious children are and how they're resilient of their childhood cancer. They are heroes to us. Unlike other awareness ribbons that symbolize one specific disease, the childhood cancer ribbon stands for many pediatric cancers. So wear your yellow this month, your gold. We do have a couple of events coming up on September 11th at our DHR Advanced Care Center. We have a parade of gold, which we are working with Super Rami and Kids and Greater Gold Foundation with Maritza. Um, we left some flyers. We'll give you all some flyers for it if you all want to come out and support. It's going to be a nighttime parade on September 11th at 7.30. So that's going to be fun and different this year because it's going to be glow and, uh, you know, light up parade. It's going to be fun. And then we have a Go Gold Walk with, at DHR on September 15th at 6 p.m. in our parking lot off of Dove. Um, we, it was our Old Vision Center. So uh, we're going to have those two events, and then we're going to have a Ride for Gold bike event at the Edinburgh uh, Stadium on September 18th. And that's going to be like a five-mile run, or a 10-mile bike event. Um, so that's going to be fun as well. And Maritza, do you want to say something about Judge Commissioners, thank you for having us here today. Um, the mission of our foundation is to create awareness. And every day in the United States, 43 kids are diagnosed with cancer, um, many of them here in the Rio Grande Valley. And so what our mission is to, to create awareness, to create funding, to hopefully one day um, have a cure or, or even better treatment for the kids. So I am grateful for the platform, and I am grateful for you allowing us to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, next item on the agenda is item 7A, District Attorney's Office. Good morning, Commissioners. Judge Cortez, Rosalinda Cantu presenting for the District Attorney's Office. We have two items on the agenda today. Item 7A, the DA check fraud fund 1222. We're asking for approval of the 2021 appropriation of funds for the DA check fraud fund 1222 in the amount of $17,970.27 to fund computer software. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 7B, the DA's Office Victims Unit Court Advocate Project Grant Fund 1281. We're asking for approval to submit a view cap grant number 3596402 grant adjustment to the Office of the Governor. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Sheriff's Goodbye. Office. Item 8. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Captain David Friedland for Hidalgo County Sheriff J.E. Eddie Guerra. Agenda item 8A, uh, Department of Justice, U.S. Marshals 1284 in three parts. Part one, approval to accept overtime, additional overtime funding from the U.S. Department of Justice, U.S. Marshals Service, one officer in the amount of $500 per officer for fiscal year 2021, October 7th through September 30th. October 7, 2020 through September 30th, 2021 for a grand total of $21,207. Part two, requesting authorization to continue to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. Part three, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal 2021 DOJ USMS overtime funds in the additional amount of $500 and appropriation of same. Motion to approve, 8A, 1 through 3. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item 8B, uh, Sheriff's Office 1100, requesting authorization and approval of fiscal year, uh, authorization and approval of 2021 appropriation of funds from general fund restricted FB Sheriff garage motor vehicle fee to Sheriff's Office uh, program 001 in the amount of $13,400. Move. Second. Second. Have a motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 8C, Sheriff of CCP 59, Fund 1227, requesting approval of 2021 appro appropriation of funds into the Sheriff of CCP 59 from the unassigned fund balance in the amount of $72,000. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item 8D, uh, Sheriff's Federal Sharing, U.S. Justice 1229, for requesting approval of 2021 appropriation of funds in the Sher Sheriff's Federal Sharing, U.S. Justice, from the unassigned fund balance in the amount of $100,000. We have a second. 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 We have a motion and a second. Who is the second? Eddie. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item 8E uh, in two parts. Part one, acceptance and approval of certi uh, certificate of completion and closing documents for the Hidalgo County Detention Center wall addition. And part two, we're requesting approval to process final payment for Noble Texas Builders LLC for Hidalgo County Detention Center wall addition project, uh, PO number 831921. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you very you much. Time. Item 9A, Constable Precinct 1. Judge Commissioners, with your permission, I will present for Constable Avila, Precinct 1. It's discussion, consideration, approval to appoint Rosendo de los Rios and Cynthia Castillo as Reserve Deputy Constable by Celestino Avila Jr., Constable Precinct 1, in accordance with Texas Local Government Code Section 86.012. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks Judge aye. Commissioners, if I may, for item 10A, Constable Precinct 2, I will present for Constable Cantu. It's discussion, consideration, approval to appoint Leonardo Tejirina as Reserve Deputy Constable by Constable Martin N. Cantu, Constable Precinct 2, in accordance with Texas Local Government Code 86.012. Motion to approve. Second. Second. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Good morning, Judge. Comfortable briefing for 11A. Discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Raul R. Ramos as Deputy Constable by myself, Constable by Don, Precinct 4, in accordance with the Texas Local Government Code, Section 86.011. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you, Judge. That's all I've got, Commissioners. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Human Resources. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Erika Reina for the Department of Human Resources. Item 12A, requesting waiver of the following if applicable for the personnel items listed. I need action on item number one, the Civil Service Commission rules, section 3.22, and item number three, the budget amendment policy personnel related amendments. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 12B for the Health Department from the COVID-19 Health Disparities Grant. Approval of the following personnel actions effective the next full pay period, September 13, 2021. I'm requesting to create slot 0001 of Program Manager 1 at grade 13 and slots 0002 and 0003, a Public Health Specialist at a grade 9. I recommend approval. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12C for the Health Department, approval of the following personnel action effective the next full pay period, September 13, 2021. This is to create slot 0065, an Administrative Services Manager for the Health and Human Services Department at a grade 19. And item 12C2 is approval to revise the classified position list to add the new Administrative Services Manager for the Health and Human Services Department. I recommend approval. So moved. Second. Second. Erica, this got undetermined funding. Is that correct? Or is this, that's what I was told? Yes, Judge, it does. Uh, it's pending Commissioner's Court approval. So is that the proper motion? It would be subject to funding. Okay. Subject to funding. Okay. We have a motion to approve this new position subject to funding. And there's a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> Item 12D for County Court at Law Number 1. Approval to create one temporary full-time position effective upon Commissioner's Court approval and ending December 31st, 2021. This is to create slot T0007, an Assistant Court Coordinator at a grade 12, and this is to assist the court during a transition period as they have an employee leaving. I recommend approval. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12E, CSLFRF ARPA funding. Approval to create the following time limited positions effective October 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2022. This are slots 0010 and 0011, COVID-19 clerk ones at a great one. And item 12E2 is approval to waive the posting, hiring, and enrollment procedures and transfer employee number 240761 to the COVID-19 clerk one slot 115-101-00010 and employee in slot number 115-096-002 to COVID-19 clerk slot number 115-101-0011. And this positions will continue to assist at the courthouse. So I do recommend approval. So second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, my final item 12F for the jail. Approval of the following personnel action effective the next full pay period, September 13, 2021. This is a reclassification of slot 0371, a maintenance three position to a supervisor two facilities maintenance position at a grade 12. We have followed all policies and procedures and this item has been reviewed by the reclassification committee. We do recommend approval. So second. second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Erica. Urban Thank County. You. Go ahead, Mr. Avila. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. For item 13A, the Urban County program is requesting approval to rescind action taken by Commissioner's Court on June 1st, 2021, which was requesting approval to purchase park equipment for the city of Mercedes Las Flores Park. Those quotes were uh, did not include installation. 
So moved. Second. second. I have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For item 13B, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, the Irving County program is requesting approval to purchase equipment from NAFCO for the City of Mercedes Fire Department in the amount of $22,752, UCP fiscal years 2019 and 2020, also with the City of Mercedes uh, funds will be utilized. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For item 13C, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, the Irving County program is requesting approval to purchase equipment from, the, from Texas Wilson for the city of Mercedes, Dr. Hector P. Garcia Memorial Library in the amount of $6,529.08. The Irving County program fiscal years 2019 and 2020, including the city of Mercedes funds will be utilized. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion to second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For item 13D, subject to compliance with House Bill 295, the Irving County program is requesting approval to purchase equipment from Park Place Recreational Designs for the City of Mercedes SM Hinojosa Park in the amount of $29,172. The Irving County program fiscal years 2018-2019, City of Mercedes funds will be utilized. So move. Second. We have a motion and a second. To approve, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 13E, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, the Irving County program is requesting approval to purchase equipment from Park Place Recreation Designs for the City of Mercedes Las Flores Park in the amount of $40,053. UCP fiscal years 2020, City of Mercedes funds will be utilized. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Mr. Olivares. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. This is Eddie Olivares, Hidalgo County Health and Human Services. I have one item in two parts. Uh, item A is requesting approval to accept the COVID-19 vaccination con grant program contract, HHS 0010195000225. Amendment number one, for a county judge to e-sign the contract and related documents. And number two is requesting approval of certification of revenue as certified by the county auditor in the amount of $2,044,532 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Judge Commissioners. Thank you, Eddie. Ms. Denner, I guess. Item 15A. Ms. Denner? Do we have Ms. Denner? She's on. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Okay. Good, uh, good, good morning. Good morning to everyone. Um, I'm here to ask for the juvenile probation uh, department for authorization to uh, apply for two grant two grants with Texas Juvenile through the Texas Juvenile Justice Division. Uh, they're the discretionary aid grants for prevention and intervention. Uh, one grant would be a pilot program targeting middle schools within Edinburgh and, our, and a middle school within PSJA for kids 11 to 13, uh, struggling in school, kids who are struggling in school because of behavior, school performance, and uh, school attendance. And the second one would also be a pilot prevention intervention program targeting the siblings and parents of juveniles who are currently in a placement as ordered by state district judge. So moved. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. We have a motion and a second. 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 All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Next item. Good morning, Judge Commissioner Ricardo Saldaya, Emergency Manager Coordinator for the County Judge's Office, Office of Emergency Management. Item 16A, discussion and consideration and approval to submit the emergency management plan formed as required by the Texas Division of Emergency Management. Two, authorize the County Judge as authorized official to sign the plan. Three, authorize the Hidalgo County Emergency Management Coordinator, appropriate county officials, 
and department has to sign the emergency support functions. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, Ricardo, I want to change the, the, the succession. Uh, when, if I'm not available, I'd like to put an elected official. We'll put the senior member of the commission, uh, Commissioner Cantu, and then followed by you. Yes, sir, we will do that. Okay, would you all accept that change? Yes, yes, yes sir. Okay. Subject to that change, we have a motion to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. The motion carries. Judge Commissioner, item 16B, discussion and consideration and approval of a memorandum of understanding between the Food Bank of the Rio Grande Valley and the County of Hidalgo for donation management services. Two, authorize the county judge as authorized official to sign the memorandum of understanding. Three, authorize and approve the appointment of disaster donations coordinator for ESF 7 logistics of emergency management plan and four authorized and approval for the Hidalgo County judge to sign the letter of appointment. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <clears throat> Thank you judge commissioners. Item 16C, discussion, consideration and approval of a memorandum of understanding between the Hidalgo County local emergency planning committee and the County of Hidalgo. Two, Authorize uh, for the county judge as the authorities authorized official to sign the memorandum of understanding. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Thank you, Ricardo. Judge Commissioners, with your permission, under item 17A, I'm going to ask the court. Uh, uh, to please go on to item 18A and then we will come back to item 17A. Okay, uh, 18A, Ms. Ramon. Good morning, I'm sorry I was listening to our governor as he is in the process of signing some very important bills, uh, but I'm on. Uh, Yvonne Ramon with the elections department uh, with item 18A. Number one, discussion, consideration, and action to approve the proposed retrofit of the current electric, ele electronic voting system, Heart Verity Touch, to paper-based system, Heart Verity Duo, in accordance with the 87th legislature's passing of Senate Bill 598, wherein section 129.003 of the Texas Election Code now requires that voting systems must use, create, or display a paper record that may be read by the voter. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. As you all know, this is a, a mandate from, from the state. Part, part of what they're mandating will be reimbursed to us, part of a grant, and there'll be a portion that will not be reimbursed. And we, we have a time a timetable in which to meet the deadline to be totally reimbursed. So this action will get us will get us there. I think it's also going to put mm -hmm. us. It's on a first come first serve basis. So yeah, it's good That's that we're true. taking action here. Yeah. So we have a motion to approve. All in favor, say aye. 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 The motion carries. Thank you. Item two: discussion, consideration, and authority for our county judge to sign the Hard Verity Inner Civic quote documents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Let us know what the governor signs. I know he just signed Senate Bill 1 and we were used as an example. Uh, not good. <laughs> okay. I'll keep listening. Okay. 19A. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Clarissa Ramirez with the Hidalgo County WIC program. Presenting on item 19 A, WIC Admin Program 001, requesting approval of the certification of revenue by the county auditor in the amount of $100,000 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Clarissa. Thank you. I think the next one is just a presentation by the auditor's office on the statement of estimated available 
resources. I've checked with the staff. They said that they're in agreement with their request. In fact, that they were they were very kind. So I have a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So make sure we got out. Uh, 21A, requesting authorization and approval to name an unnamed public road starting on Liberty Boulevard and ending at Giles Road as Mile 4 and a Half Road. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 21B, requesting approval to accept counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as Parcel 74 associated with the Precinct 3 Veterans Boulevard project with authority for the county judge to sign the administrative evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 21C, discussion and authorization to proceed with condemnation on lot eight, Van Ramshorts, a cooperative groves subdivision. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Item 22A, Sergio. Good morning, Motion Judge. Master. Good morning, Judge Commissioner Sergio Cruz, Budget Management. Item 22A is discussion, consideration, and approval of amendment number one to advance primary care service agreements between Vera Whole Health Inc., Vera Whole Health uh, CAPC, and Hidalgo County. Uh, Judge Commissioners, uh, again, this, this uh, uh, amendment uh, would be uh, for us to uh, enter, uh, make an amendment to the, to the agreement with Vera to reduce the participation level uh, from 2,000 attributed lives to 1,250 attributed lives. Uh, and then also uh, with, with those uh, savings, be able to provide uh, our county employees that uh, go to Vera, uh, be able to provide them a deductible waiver of $200. I do have Mr. Lou Arias from Gallagher Insurance, uh, which is our insurance consultant in case the court have, has any questions. We do recommend approval. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Item 22B, discussion, consideration, and approval to enter to the second contract renewal between Hidalgo County and the Priest Inc. for fiscal year 20, 2022 with authority for the county judge to execute the agreement. We do recommend approval. So moved. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 22C is approval of 2021 interfund transfer from countywide administration to the courthouse security and the amount of $2,522.84. And these are for the new courthouse security staff. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 22D is approval of an advance funding agreement between Hidalgo County and the Texas Department of Transportation for the Mile 6 West road project from State Highway 107 to mile 14 and a half, CSJ 0921 uh, with approval of order authorizing the county judge to sign the agreement for said project. Motion, motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, and finally, item uh, 22E1 is approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor in the amount of $6,444.80. Uh, an appropriation of the same we do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Thank you very much. Thank you. Marty. Good morning, Judge. Gordina. Dina, <laughs> yes. Uh, good morning, Judge Commissioners. Item 23A for Hidalgo County. Item A, pursuant to provision number 11 of the legal notice for Hidalgo County to accept and approve the vendor offer discount on behalf of Morewell LLC for brush and vegetative debris removal services. Original bid price was $9.75. The discounted price is now $6.85. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, requesting approval to replace current exhibit B uh, for contract uh, for the contract of brush and vegetative debris removal services with a revised document to reflect the discounted price. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
23B for the executive office, item A, requesting acceptance and approval of final negotiated AIA document to award the number one ranked firm, Econ, in the amount of 4,026,100 as the competitive uh, seal proposal, general contractor for the Precinct 4 Justice Center project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, requesting approval of the interlocal cooperation agreement between the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and the County of Hidalgo to provide an educational and research program experience with respect to archeology span to UTRGV students at the Hidalgo County Popper Cemetery. Motion to approve. Second. second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C1 for precinct one, requesting authority to purchase surfacing material and partial installation for Sunrise Hill Park at precinct one from Game Time Inc. in the amount of 86,687 with 88 cents through our membership with Omnia. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, requesting approval of change order number two for precinct one Sunset Park operations facility project in connection with um, contract number C18-181A 0326 and GMP amendment number one with Econ Group as recommended by project engineer B2Z. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas local government code. 2620248A4, a professional service. So move. Taken. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item B, presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by commissioner scored of firms graded through the county's pool of pre qualified professional engineering services for precinct one, mile one, East project. Uh, LNG consulting engineering uh, with a total of, hundred, of 193. SMB infrastructure with a total of 186 and Strada engineering and consulting with a total of 176. Does the court wish to rank in the order of their scores? Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, requesting authority for uh, Dallo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement commencing with a number rank firm of LNG for precinct one, mile one, East Project. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item four, requesting approval of interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and the city of Elsa to develop a segment of mile six corridor from mile 11 to State Highway 107. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, in accordance with section 791.014 of the Texas Government Code, requesting approval of the interlocal cooperation agreement in its desires to assist each other in multiple projects to be defined by mutual agreement in which both the city and the county would benefit from the outcome of the work by decreasing the cost of services and increasing the quality of life for both the citizens of the, of the county and the city. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item five, requesting approval of on-call professional service agreement with ROW Serving Services for serving and services for projects with increasing one. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 23D for precinct two, requesting acceptance and approval of amendment number two to lease agreement with Arise Las Milpas to additional op to add additional options to renew and extend the terms of the lease under the terms of the original agreement. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item E for precinct three, uh, authority to purchase one pneumatic tire forklift through our membership with source well for commissioner precinct three in the amount of $63,049 for equipment depot and authorized dealer. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Item two, request an approval to award the lowest and the lowest and best bid for precinct three La Mansion flat or concrete improvements to vendor Rio United Builders in the amount of 38,164 with 50 cents. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23F1 for the IT department, item A, request an approval to resent action taken by commissioner's court on June the 25th, 2021 for the network switches and installation services for the new courthouse from inside public sector through cooperative awarded contracts with DIR and Omnia partners in the amount of 705,137 and 14 cents. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, authority to enter into a five-year lease with key government finance on behalf of Cisco Systems Capital with equipment, hardware, software, and services provided by cooperative awarded vendor inside public sector and under Omnia um, contracts in the amount of seven seven hundred five thousand one hundred and thirty seven with 14 cents. So Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, authority for county judge to sign all required documents. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 23G G, uh, for the elections department, it's an extension of what Ms. Ramon presented. Item A, exception, exception from competitive bidding requirements under, under Texas local government code 262024A7, an item that can only be obtained from one source. Motion to approve. Second. We have, we have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item B, request an approval of amended sole source declaration and accept the quotes from sole source vendor Hart Verity in Civic to retrofit the current county-owned electronic voting machines, hard, very touch, including all necessary supplies to paper-based system, hard, very dual in compliance with Senate Bill 598, sections 129-003 of the Texas Election Code. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H1 for the Sheriff's Office. Requesting authority to purchase police equipment for the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office in the amount of 161498 from GALS LLC by board awarded vendor through our contract uh, 587-19. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, acceptance of lowest submitted proposal and approval to job order contractor Huracan LLC through our membership with my board in the amount not to exceed 139,303 with 77 cents for the roof repairs and new AC system installation at the Sheriff's Office Training Academy. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three, acceptance of lowest bid, I'm sorry, the lowest submitted proposal an approval to award job order contractor Hericon LLC through our membership with by board in the amount not to exceed 75,772.04 for the roof repairs at the Sheriff's Office Vicksburg building. Motion to approve. Take it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item four, requesting approval to purchase one 2022 Chevy Tahoe Z71 package four wheel drive from Lake County Chevrolet for Sheriff's Office through our goodbye co-op and the amount of 53,941. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, item five, request an approval to renew the online subscri subscription for a diagnostic software for Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office from awarded vendor All Data through, through their cooperative awarded with Omnia Partners. Subject to compliance with 1295. Motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 21 aye for the district attorney's office. 
um, item A, requesting acceptance and approval to of work authorization number four with an estimated cost of $59,325.50 as submitted by Happen Associates through an on-call professional engineering services agreement for repairs, renovations, alterations, additions, or other related services for structural engineering study to the Annex 3 building. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, pursuant to Article 14 of the current agreement, requesting authority by half an associates to engage the following, to engage the con subcontractor, Channing Engineering. Motion so, to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item J1, one for the county clerk's office, requesting approval to award the sole bid received from vendor Master Fibers Inc., meeting all specifications, including approval of the contract for purchase removal and related services for shredded and recyclable material on an as needed basis for the Ivalu County. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, requesting authority to, uh, to approve software applications and software services from GovOS Co-File for a term of three years in the amount of 13,000, per year commencing October 1st, 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Judge commissioners, with your permission, item 24A, presentation for discussion of the following. Uh, new courthouse project updates. I'm gonna ask uh, Mr. Oscar Garcia, there should be a representative from Jacobs in the courtroom. <clears throat> Sorry. Good morning, judge, commissioners. Date on the on the progress to date on the courthouse project. Um, as you can see on page two, um, we continue to make good progress on level two, level threes, level four, and five. Uh, we're completing out finish out uh, six and seven. Uh, they're moving along at a brisk pace. Um, level eight, um, they've done a good job of of kind of reinforcing the roof uh, to this point uh, to protect itself, uh, protect the building, exterior envelope. Um, until the materials are, are fully procured um, to replace uh, the materials that we reported last week uh, or last couple of weeks ago um, to, to get all that replaced and, and installed, uh, both on the level eight and, and level four. The cup is basically completed. There's some final touches that need to be done on the central utility plant, and the, you know, the vast majority of work is, is finish outs and uh, site work that's happening right now. Um, from the Jacobs team right now, you're still seeing, like I said, mentioned, uh, the roofing system, uh, we've got confirmation from MTI that they have, in fact, uh, procured the material. We're going through that process to get all that roofing material in place and the like. Um, we have a final microbial assessment by Terracon uh, to, to wrap up that portion of the testing from the water incursions that occurred uh, during some of the rainy, rainy parts of the area before the building was fully sealed. Um, and so that should happen by the end of this month, and, and we'll get that one uh, completed. Uh, some of the ongoing coordination right now, especially with the city of Edinburgh, is on the life safety side. Um, we're doing some inspection, testing, and startup of uh, some of the equipment to be able to prep the building for move-in uh, furniture and, and, and equipment alike. Um, on the commissioning side, um, like I said, we're continuing with testing and the like. Right now we've got um, building automation going on, the lighting systems and the like going on from levels two through, uh, through five. Uh, we also have some pumps and testing going on. This, so the whole commissioning team is actually going to be uh, on site this week, uh, progressing through their efforts. Uh, but that's moving along at a, at a good steady pace. Um, on the activation and move management side, um, there's been a, a you know, concerted effort to identify the gaps between the construction and, and sch sch scheduled completion of the construction work 
uh, so that the ff &E delivery can happen on the heels of that. And that means everything from the AV courtroom technology to furniture delivery and, uh, and the like, signage and digital signage. Uh, so that's an ongoing effort. Um, we're also working uh, on the move-in schedule and exploring a variety of different options for moving uh, of materials from the existing courthouse they need to go through kind of a decon or uh, quarantine phase of some old documents and the like that then need to be moved over before they move into the new courthouse. So do we, bring, we don't bring um, uh, organic materials with them other than the books and, and the like that they are. Um, we've also uh, been working with the facilities group and uh, Hidalgo County IT uh, to develop a comprehensive salvage and surplus list um, for HDR so they can be part of the a procurement package of phase two as they go through the demo so that can be part of um, what is wanted you know what facilities in Hidalgo County is wanting to keep as part of the the salvage list uh, of the existing courthouse and then um, that then leads into um, Hidalgo County being, uh, purchasing being able to put together a, uh, uh, a surplus list um, to move forward with. Um, moving to the next slide, uh, a Morganti update. Morganti is moving along with their construction completion um, moving along with uh, um, so that we can have scheduled punch lists or punch items and, and for the design team to come in and be able to do their punch lists uh, in October and in November. Um, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, um, here's some additional details on the roof repair and the procurement of those materials. Uh, we also have some of the future key activities or finalizing some of the training schedules for key end users. Um, as these systems and uh, come into play, and we start firing them up. Um, the assigned individuals that will be taking those on as the building comes online uh, are being identified and, and scheduled for training. Um, and again, uh, like I mentioned, uh, additional continued side work, site work and exterior work is, is going on. Uh, with regards to HDR, um, they are finalizing their mechanical roof screen design uh, that's ongoing and their pandemic preparedness package as well. So those are deliverables that we should have in hand by the end of this month. Um, with regards to phase two, um, also uh, they are finalizing their demo and site design packages and we should have the 75% delivery by September 22nd that then we'll go through Jacob's peer review. So we'll have our design team look at that, make sure that that's good, provide comments back to uh, HDR before they deliver a 100% CD package uh, so that that can go through uh, the procurement process. Um, let's see, lastly, like I said, Terracon has been uh, on site doing um, uh, roofing system assessment, um, exterior envelope, the micro microbial assessment. They're also going to be putting together a, um, a hazardous material uh, assessment for the existing courthouse. Uh, that'll be part of the procurement package uh, as we move forward with demo. So that'll be included in the demo package. Um, and that is the update for, for this, this session. Any questions? What would be your best estimate of when we would be starting to move in? Um, at this point, uh, Judge, I would say um, late February, early March is probably the, the time frame that we're looking at. February 14th, in fact. Probably is what we're looking at. Right on Valentine's Day. Like, when, you know, people, really... like when people occupy. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. what about when equipment and desks So we'll, we'll take delivery. Furniture. Yeah, we'll take delivery. Substantial completion of the building is still on schedule for uh, November uh, 10th. So we'll start taking delivery of the building at that point, And then we'll be able to bring in all the equipment, bring it online, have the Sheriff's Department come in and start testing their equipment with the security system folks. IT come in and start testing their system. So there'll be shakeout, if you will, over those next couple of months and then be ready to move into the building probably in the February timeframe is what we're looking at at this point. And you were able to find replacement for the windows that were shot, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, um, um, there were the, the regular glazing glass windows that, that you'd see it out there. Those are fairly easy to, to find uh, replacements for. The ones that are a little bit more difficult are the porcelain panels, the ones that are white and kind of a, a copper finish. Um, and we actually found some that were stateside that uh, were ready to go. And so we've, we've moved forward and acquired that. And then also provide the county with some attic stock so that you guys have some of those in, in the future. So we should be good to go. Okay. Any additional questions? Any other questions? Oscar, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Judge Commissioners, item 24A2.
and 24A3, there'll be no action this week. And judge, commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to go back to item 17A, community service agency. Okay, Mr. Longoria. Good morning, judge, commissioners. Uh, thank you so much for uh, allowing me the, the leisure to move move my agenda item back. I was, I was in on a conference call that, that ran a little bit late. So thank you so much. Item 17A is presentation of the 2022 community service block grant uh, com community action plan and budget. Number one is a public hearing uh, regarding the, the proposed 2022 CSBG cap plan and budget. Judge commissioners, uh, I provided you with a copy of, uh, at the previous, uh, I guess two meetings ago, the top five needs that were identified by, uh, by uh, the community needs assessment process. And let me refresh your minds. Uh, the top five needs uh, with regards to low income families in Hidalgo County were identified as lack of affordable housing, lack of job skills necessary for better wages. Uh, we needed to provide more services to underserved populations, including post teen parents, DACA recipients, veterans, migrants, and folks leaving the, the penal system. Uh, the number four would be access to healthcare. And the, the last uh, of the five top five needs was household assistance. The next step in the process as, as we develop our, our plan for the next three years for the spending of funds from the community services block grant is to develop what we call our cap plan, our community action plan going forward. That allow, aligns our budgets and our activities with these top five needs. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to present uh, the plan together with the budget. Uh, of course, we don't know what the funding levels will be for community service block grant for next year. Uh, Traditionally, they've been a, a, a very modest increase from the previous year. So we are always go on the conservative side and we budget for, for the previous year's uh, funds. So this particular uh, budget is $1.757 million. That's $1,757,306. We presented that budget together with, uh, together with what we call our cap plan. And what we've done is we've aligned uh, each of our different services and our different, uh, what we call our national performance indicators to align with those particular uh, needs that we identified in our needs assessment. So for instance, uh, for lack of affordable housing, we have a category under our cap plan that's actually service number four is page three of 15 that addresses housing needs and housing activities that we're going to conduct. Now we will revisit these particular targets and these particular thresholds on a yearly basis. So we will reevaluate uh, the kind of work that we're doing within housing assistance. Some of this will include uh, uh, directing people to financial counseling and fi financial coaching. Some of, the, some of this will include providing rental payments for folks, providing deposit payments. Some of it may, may have to do with providing eviction counseling or referring people for landlord uh, tenant mediations or for uh, providing uh, 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 landlord or tenant rights uh, uh, education programs. So that would be like for affordable housing. For the lack of job skills necessary for better wages, we do have a category for employment services and that would be our uh, service number one. Uh, we're gonna be investing money in providing vocational training for folks, youth summer work placements, We'll be providing career workshops for folks, and we'll be providing uh, interview and resume development for, for, for individuals as they come into our program. For our underserved, underserved populations, uh, we intend to, uh, that's kind of our, our catch-all for families that come in with multiple kinds of needs. So we'll be providing case management and eligibility determination. Uh, in essence, we'll be directing traffic to uh, those families that are that are struggling with multiple needs uh, that come in that have just various layers of needs as, as they're uh, looking for assistance and looking for direction and how to address poverty within their lives. For access to health care, we're looking at aligning that with our, uh, I think it's service number, give me just a second. I believe it's service number five. We'll be assisting families with uh, some limited families with funds for prescription payments. We'll be helping with nutrition and meals. We'll be helping with families uh, with emergency uh, hygiene kits during disasters. Many of you all are aware of, of that kind of assistance. 
so that that would be for for healthcare and and even health vouchers for families that are struggling with uh, with trying to get assistance uh, when they run out of you know uh, their funds and they run out of community funds that are able to help them uh, in a medical need medical emergency. The last thing is uh, household assistance. We allow with our uh, with our need that's called income and asset building. That's our service number three. We'll be assisting families with uh, veterans benefits, with TANF benefits, directing them for SNAP benefits. We'll be helping uh, uh, individuals begin savings accounts and IDA accounts. We'll be developing financial capability skills trainings. So really a variety of different kinds of services. So Judge Commissioners, that gives you an overview. And uh, what we would need now is, is uh, to see if, if the court wishes, if you would open it up for any public comments uh, so that we can uh, note those particular needs. Did anybody come here for uh, discuss this item with us? Or? You need to convene a, a public hearing if you would, Judge. Yeah. Do we have a public hearing schedule for today? Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's yeah. on the agenda. Okay, I, I, I tore up my uh, oh. <laughs> I tore up my uh, agenda. But, so if we can uh, open up a public hearing, it's 1151 regarding community service plan, the cap budget. Motion to approve. Second. Hold on real quick. No, to, to open the hearing. Oh, sorry. So we have a motion to second to open the, <clears throat> open the public hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Does anybody have any comments to make on this public hearing? If not, we'll Mr. Lopez, uh, uh, Commissioner, if I may, Mr. Lopez, did anybody sign up uh, on your end for any public comments on this particular item? Uh, no, sir. Thank you. We'll go ahead and close the public hearing at 1152. I guess now, now 782, 1782. Thank, thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners. It's discussion, consideration, and possible action to recommend approval of the 2022 Thanks. CSBG yes, cap plan and budget. So Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners. Judge Commissioner, with your, with your permission, I'd like to go uh, yeah, back to item 24, yeah, item specifically 24B is approval to accept the donation of paint from Walmart consisting of 101 gallons and three quarts yeah, with an approximate know. value of $2,400. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 24C is approved to accept the settlement agreement offer from Fred Loya Insurance Company in the amount of $11,166.81. And this is to settle a lost auto accident claim with a county vehicle. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And the second part of 24C is approved to authorize myself, Aldegueta, the county executive officer, to sign the power of attorney forms for title purposes to settle the total loss auto accident claim with Fred Loya Insurance Company. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. At this time, I'm going to ask the court uh, to go to closed session. Okay, pursuant to Chapter 551 of Texas Government Codes under Section 551.071, 072, 074, and 087 will be retired to closed session to discuss those items. Any action items to be taken will be taken in open session when we return. I have a motion to do so. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. It is 1154. Okay, we're back from a, from a closed session. We do have some action items. Yes, sir. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Um, item 28, open session, real estate acquisition appropriation for saying there is no action to be taken this week. Item uh, 28B, pending and or potential litigation, there is no action to be taken. 
28C, discussion, consideration, and possible action regarding response to public health emergency. Judge Commissioners, I will refer back to agenda item um, 25 in a, in a minute or so. Item 28D, cause number C, 2820-21-C, Diana Ortiz versus Hidalgo County. Judge Commissioners, uh, uh, for the record, Ms. Josephine Ramirez's office uh, will be facilitating uh, uh, defense on behalf of Hidalgo County. Uh, and, uh, for the record, I'd like for the Valde. court to take a vote uh, assigning this to Ms. Josephine Ramirez. Valde, uh, hold on. Hold, hold on, Valde. Josephine's got something. Valde, that one's going to be assigned out. It was to Preston. Oh, my apologies. I'm, I'm, I, you're absolutely correct. My apologies. Uh, so, um, with respect to cause number C2820 21 C, Diana Ortiz versus Hidalgo County, I'd like to refer back to item 27, and that's requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under the Texas Local Government Code, section 2620024A4, a professional service for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation. If I could have a motion to that effect. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 27B, engaging with the firm of Preston Henriksen for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation and authority to submit letter of engagement subject to compliance with House Bill 1295. And this is specific to uh, cause number C, 2820-21-C, Diana Ortiz versus Hidalgo County. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 28E, Claim of Maria Espinosa, Judge Commissioners, I would like Settlement Authority to make an offer in the amount of one hundred and twenty-one dollars and nineteen cents. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item twenty-eight F, Claim of Maria E. Villarreal, Judge Commissioners, I would like Settlement Authority to make an offer in the amount of twenty-five thousand dollars. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, I'd like to refer back to item 25, discussion, consideration, and possible action regarding A, counter response to disaster, health emergency, one CARES Act and American Rescue Plan Act funds, A, interlocal agreement with UTRGV lab services. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And 25A1B. County Employee Premium Pay Program. Counselor? The direction from the court is that they are authorizing the county budget officer to implement a, a premium pay program beginning uh, September 13th, and that is for eligible employees to be paid out prospectively. Motion to approve. Second. Vote in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 25B, measures necessary to preserve public health and safety, Judge Commissioner, there's been some appropriate action taken. Item 25C, direction regarding county government operations, including but not limited to essential functions. Judge Commissioners, we continue as we have for quite some time to follow uh, recommended CDC guidelines, social distancing. Uh, we highly recommend and encourage all individuals doing business with the County of Hidalgo, as well as our employees to wear uh, a facial covering. Again, the. Um, <clears throat> The health and safety of our residents while doing business at the County of Hidalgo is first and foremost, as well as our employees that provide that valuable service to our constituency. Judge Commissioners, um, for the record, 20, item 29, closed session, there's no need to go back. There is no action. And item 30, open session, there is no need as well. So there is a no action. <coughs> I believe that concludes all our agenda items. May I have a motion to adjourn? Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you, Judge Commissioners.